Thanks for coming back for part two. On with the video. Now, quick little plug for Babylon Waves Art Conductor. They basically went through and set up presets for all of these different companies with all of their different libraries. There's tons and tons of content in here, like all of Spitfire stuff, Cinematic Studio series, orchestral tools, you know, Junkie XL, Berlin Woodwinds, all of these different presets. So they went and saved you time and did it for you. At first, I was going to think like, oh, I'm not going to be spending money on this. I'm just going to go through and spend a couple of days working on these and I'll have my custom setup that I love. But, you know, the more I worked on it, it was a lot of time consuming work because again, the logic interface is not very good. And there's just so many things to think about that, you know, maybe the first time you do articulation sets for one library and you try to do the same thing for a different library, it doesn't translate because they're set up so differently. You know, one might use that Spitfire key switching feature, another have CCs that control the articulations. And also you got to use multi patches, right? where all of the things are in one patch. Some libraries just have so many different articulations that, for example, the Spitfire library has all of this full and all of the second patch full in order to use all the articulations. Of course, legatos are missing from this. So you would also have to add in the legatos. Uh, I'll, doesn't matter right now. So by the time you account for all of that, it's just way too much work. So what I did is went ahead and invested in the Babylon Waves Art Conductor because they've set everything up for you and they constantly have support and they have updates and stuff, all I had to do is follow their instructions and I was set. So here's an example of the orchestral tools library. They have this little custom script thing that you have to put in for these multi patches. And because orchestral tools just have so many articulations here, the clarinet has just two multis, but some like the flute, you need to have three different multis to fit all of the articulations because they have semitone trill, whole tone trill, uh, minor third, major third, perfect fourth. There's just so many trill patches in there. So they have it programmed so that it'll funnel your thing into different channels. So channel one, channel two, so depending on which multi it's in. And they also provide you with these snapshots that you can put in so that uh, you don't have to customize and go through each articulation to put them in the right order that Art Conductor needs you to put them in. You just need to drop the preset in, load up orchestral tools with the multi combined patch and you are set. So let me play a little bit of something into here. So we can go in and I can make these staccato. You can see they have all of these different articulations. Maybe these I want to be long with accent and vibrato. Maybe I want this to be a whole tone trill. Maybe these need to be legato. Here I'll do marcato short. And for this, I'll do a marcato long. On and so forth. As you can see, Babylon Waves did a really good job with what they did, and it's a huge time saver. So, one of the downsides with articulation sets is that because everything is on one track, you can't have separate longs and shorts sends for reverbs, which is something that uh, a lot of people do commonly. You could have one track dedicated to your longs and one track dedicated to your shorts. But that kind of defeats the purpose of being able to like just switch between shorts and longs really quickly. So maybe one thing that Babylon Waves could do is reorganize their multi patches so that one only has longs and one only has shorts so that you can route them to different contact outputs and then have different sends for them. Uh, or if you're making your own, you could do that yourself. Uh, the other downside is that because you have all of these multi patches loaded, especially sometimes you have two or three multi patches loaded per instrument, uh, it's a pretty big RAM hog. So make sure you have all of your instruments purged when you're setting it up uh, in your template. 
And if you don't have enough RAM purge as you go, you know, freeze and bounce your tracks, whatever fits your workflow. Now, one last disadvantage is that because you have everything in one patch now, with libraries where you need to set different delay offsets uh, for your different articulations, like in Cinematic Studio stuff, I believe all the shorts are negative 60 milliseconds and your longs are negative 100. Uh, and then depending on the Lucado type you choose, it goes all the way down to like negative 250, maybe even uh, negative 330 or something like that. So when you're setting up this stuff in Cinematic Studio stuff, you can't set your delay time separately. Some of you might use something like the Thanos script or the control panel of CSS control panel thing in your contact patches. But the downside with Thanos is that you have to use their articulation sets. You can't use, you know, Babylon stuff or your own articulation sets. And the control panel thing from what I've tried out, it's kind of buggy and certain notes get cut off. So as a result, I have found a hack that is even better than Thanos or control panel. So what you do is you input your thing in, you set up all your articulations, and I guess you can kind of quantize this. Make sure everything's in the right space. Okay, everything is in the right place. And what you can do in logic is, first of all, set your nudge value to 10 milliseconds. And then what you do is select all of your longs articulations, for example, by selecting one that is a long and do shift A. So now just your longs are selected. And I know that CSS and CSB have longs of negative 100, so I can just nudge it by 10 increments. So that's option and the arrow key, depending on the direction you want to go. So the left arrow key in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You can go on to the next articulation, all the staccatos. K shift A, option click, one, two, three, four, five, six for 60 milliseconds. Same thing with the sforzandos, one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing with the repetitions, one, two, three, four, five, six. What is this? Marcado, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I think I got everything. Now everything is perfectly in time. I can put on the metronome so you can hear it with the metronome. Voila. So everything is in time. And if you want to humanize it, you can humanize it if you want. And this will give you perfect and consistent results that aren't buggy. Uh, you don't need a script. You don't need the control panel. It just works. So I'll be making a separate video about this in more detail, but this is kind of the rundown of articulation sets in Logic and how I use them for virtual orchestration. So I hope this video was informative and it helped you and maybe it'll help you with your workflow. Uh, if it did, you know, leave me a like, subscribe, and let me know how you use articulation sets to optimize your workflows. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. This has been DID Choi.